Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to do the monthly maintenance or clean the filters on the Shark AI robot vacuum with LiDAR navigation, model number RV2502AE. So I'm going to show you there's filters and stuff to clean in the base unit, and we're also going to take the Shark apart and clean it. I've given this a really good workout for the last week, and it's gotten pretty dirty on the inside, so you do got to keep up with the maintenance. Whether it's just blowing it out, cleaning the filters, emptying the stuff, it is really important to keep up on this. And if your shark's not working right, you'll get to see, I'm going to turn it over and we're going to go through some stuff. So if you're getting some air codes that show different things, this might help alleviate some of those air codes. So the first thing, we're going to unplug the base unit. And turning a shark off is tricky. See, it? you got to... So hit the clean button, but, but pause the clean. So take it off the dock. See, it's starting to clean. Hit, just hit the button to pause it. You want to hold the clean button. Now, once it's off the dock and away, you want to hold this now for five to seven seconds. That's the power button. It's, it's a little tricky. Turning these off, there used to be a power switch. Okay, now it's off, it's safe to use. Now I can pick it up, it's not gonna start turning on me or anything, the base unit is safe. Okay, the manual that comes with these is, is there's not much information in there, but I'm gonna show you where to find the best manual. So the best manual's in your app. So click the three little lines. After the three little lines, click support. Now it says manuals. Click manuals, but it doesn't have the right one there. Click this little arrow right here, and it brings up all the manuals. RV2500. It's got an owner's guide. This has got a lot more information in it. it. Tells you how to turn it off, and it's got how to clean it and stuff. So I'm going to be following this on how to clean it and do the monthly maintenance on it. Okay, so I've got the unit powered down. It's safe. That's, be careful. This is very fragile. And that's got navigation under it, so we want to be very, very careful of that. But we do have to turn this over to work on it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come around the back, and I want to empty, I want to take this out. So squeeze these two right here. That's the trash bin. This is what it empties every time. But you can see, even though it empties the main area, the base unit will suck out the main area. You do get quite a bit of dust and dog hair that's left over in here. So I'm gonna take this outside, we're gonna blow this. It's got a filter we're gonna change. I like to blow out that filter, it's right there. So now let's turn it over. So before we turn it over, we can see in here, there's not much here. There doesn't get, there gets to be a little debris in here, so we can blow this out here. You might have some stuff caught up in there, but it all looks pretty good. Now, like I said, we've used this one very heavily and I've not cleaned it at all. Okay, so let's take the brush head out. It does take Phillips, or is that a special? Oh, you don't need a screwdriver. You just, those are special screws anyway. You just, the tabs, and it comes off, and then the brush head comes out. Now, you may have, we've got a bunch of, we've got two dogs and a lot of dog hair, but I don't have anything wrapped around this. Now, there is some dust that accumulates on here. And that looks like that can be kind of hard to get off. So I'm not sure I'm going to get that off, but we need to clean that. But this thing looks in really good shape. And down in here, make sure this is all clean. You can get a lot of fine dust particles down in here that will cause you some problems and some hair. So we're going to leave this out. We're going to blow all this out. Okay, I got this outside. I got this little portable blower you plug into an outlet. It's just, it's really handy. So let's blow it out. It says we want to make sure the charging ports are clean. There's these little sensors, right? These are the fall off sensors. We want to make sure these are nice and clean. These are just little windows. Just use a little brush or your finger to kind of wipe them off. Make sure the wheels turn. There's nothing clogging up the wheels. There's nothing clogging these up, these turn freely. So everything looks really good down in here. Again, simply blowing it off doesn't always get it all off. Let me take a little brush. Okay, next, let's work on this. This little filter will slide out. And it gets really dirty. 
I don't think you have to replace this every single time. Now, eventually you will have to replace it, but I think you can blow it out a couple times with this blower I've got. And then with it opened up, we're going to blow all of this out and get this all nice and clean. If your vacuum runs over some water, you will find some kind of like water spots with some, it will suck up water and it'll make kind of a mess here. that nice and clean we'll even blow a little air in this way we'll even make sure this little area is clean right here too that's got like a flap that flaps up so we'll blow some air in there there's the other side of that flap down in there you can kind of you can open it up with your finger make sure it's all nice and clean and dust free when we blow filters out blow them from the clean side first and then we'll blow it this way So this cleaned up really nice just by blowing it. I will put a link in the show description notes to new filters and a new brush. But the hardest part with this is going to be getting that little fine stuff off there. I'm not sure if it came with a little comb that might like maybe a, a men's comb might work the best to get that off. But that's turned out to be the hardest thing to clean right now is that. And again, like I said, it is good to replace this, but this did clean up really well. Okay, time to put it, reassemble it. It's got this O-ring on here. We want to flip that O-ring on, make sure this lid is closed. And we're going to just slide it in. There's a little track until it doesn't slide anymore. Okay, so using a stiff bris a bristle, bris a bristle brush, clean that off the best. So now this has got like a groove and that fits on that gear right there. So you're going to slide that in and then this, you've got a position so it's up top. So then it fits in there just nice and easy. You can practice turning it. Take this, it's got three tabs. Put those in first and make sure you get both of those snap down. Now it's nice and cleaned. Make sure your front wheel, if your front wheel's got some gunk on it, you can take it out, it just pries off. Now turn it over, we can slide this back in. This is all ready to go. Make sure it snaps in and it's in there nice and tight. Okay, now let's concentrate on the base unit. Take your storage, we're gonna, we're gonna clean this separately. Set that off to the side, set that off to the side. Let's turn this around now. Okay, so now up here at the top, we've got this little thing that says filter access. You're just gonna lift that up. And it's got some important instructions in here, but there's a filter that we've gotta clean. This thing gets some really, really fine dirt on it. Oh yeah, this thing is dirty. Wow. We've got another little filter in there. We're gonna take this out. We're, not gonna, we're gonna take this whole unit out. We're gonna blow this whole thing out. We're gonna shoot air in here, down here, kind of all over. That door doesn't really wanna come off. We're going to blow air here. We do have another filter right here. This one doesn't get nearly as dirty. So you do pull this tab, but you got to pull down and then it comes out. They call this like the two year or three year filter. It does get a little dirty, but it, you know, this does, is nowhere close to being uh, needing to be cleaned yet. So let's just put, let's put this back on. We'll leave it off those so that we can blow some air all around in there. So the instructions talk about wanting you to rinse and dry this with water. I find that I can blow it off, but once in a while you are going to have to rinse it out with some water, but then you've got to let it air dry and it needs to air dry for almost 24 hours before you put it back in and, and the units ready to use. Okay, so this just pulls off of this. It just slides up and you can see we got a bunch. We can pull some of it off, but it's re it is very, very fine. So wherever you do this, be careful.
Okay, so now I've got the base unit. Again, we're just gonna blow air all around to kind of clean this thing all up. Okay, one thing I almost forgot is the storage collection bin. This thing gets extremely dirty. So again, we've got some leftover stuff in there, but up in here, there is quite a, there's quite a bit of screen material that you've got to use a brush on once in a while. This gets extremely dirty all around here. So this was the dirtiest part of the hole. Other than that one filter that had a bunch of fines on it, this gets extremely dirty. So take this outside, blow it out. It got all over me and my face, so be careful. Blow in all the holes. Blow in this one too. It kind of just comes out all over. And clean the, there's the window. You can clean the window off from the side. So this thing does get a, a very, very dirty. Okay, now we're, re now we're ready to reassemble. Put this filter on here again. It didn't, it got it pretty clean. I would definitely uh, wash it with water um, probably every second or third time. And I will put a link onto the show description notes. It is a good idea just to replace that once in a while. This, let's put, it's got a little tab here. Let's put it down first. It's gonna go down on top of there. It just sits there, kind of like that. Then you just take this and it, it kind of fits down there. It's kind of snug a little bit, but not, not too much. Then this one's ready to close. Over here on the side, let's get the filter. Let's put this black thing on there. It's like a pre-filter first. It's got this tab. It's gonna go up, but we're gonna put this in first and then it, sh it should snap in. And then same with this, put the bottom in first and it snaps in. Then put your storage collection. Okay, we've got it plugged in. We've got it back. You wanna make sure and put the base back where it was. We're gonna put the shark now on. It's still not on. We gotta turn the shark on. It might have turned itself on. These things, I wish it had a power button. So it's gonna do an evacuation automatically. I didn't do anything. So it turns itself on automatically. I never turned it on. All I did was when I put it on the charging pad, it turned itself on. And now it's charging. Okay. So let's see if it works. Yep, it's on and it's ready to clean. Does it sound any different? No, sounds about the same. Kind of like a little rattle on the inside. So thanks everybody for watching. I'll put a link to everything in the show description notes. It's very important to keep up on the maintenance. And if you've got some error codes, taking it apart like I did may clear, may doing that just may clear the error codes. And I was very surprised how dirty the base station got, but it did clean up okay. Thanks everybody for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.